Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that Study the given graph that is this graph and answer the given questions. First is, in which year did the average income reach its highest point? Second part, in which year did the average income reach its lowest point? Third part, how much more did the average person earn in the year 2009 than in the year 2008? And the fourth part is, what is the range of the data? Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, in a bar graph, the height of the bar is according to the frequency of the distribution and the second is the range of the data is the difference between the highest and the lowest value. So these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the graph we are given the average income of the person in a particular year in thousand dollars and each bar is raised according to the average income in that particular year. Now here we can see that in the year 2004 the bar reaches the point 50. That means the income of the person in the year 2004 is $50,000. Similarly, we can see that the income of the person in the year 2005 is $70,000. In the year 2006 it is $60,000. In the year 2007 the average income of a person is $40,000 in the year 2008 it is $30,000 and in the year 2009 the average income of a person is $40,000. Now in the first part it is asked that in which year did the average income reach its highest point. Now we have to give the year in which the average income reached its highest point. Now on comparing all the bars, the highest bar drawn is in the year 2005 where it reaches the point 70. Therefore we can write that in the year 2005 the average income of a person reached the highest point. Now in the second part we have to find that in which year did the average income reach its lowest point. Now, we have to give the year in which the average income was minimum. Now, out of all the bars, the bar of 2008 is the smallest. Now, 
Now here the bar of 2000 age reaches to the point 30 which is the lowest that is in the year 2008 the average income of a person is $30,000 which is the lowest among all the years. So we can write that in the year 2008 the average income reached the lowest point. Now in the third part it is asked that how much more did the average person earn in the year 2009 than in the year 2008. Now from the graph you can see that in the year 2009 the bar reaches to the point 40 and in the year 2008 it reaches to the point 30 which means the average income of a person in the year 2008 is $30,000 and in the year 2009 the average income of a person is $40,000. Now the average income of a person in 2008 is $30,000 and in the year 2009 it is $40,000. Now the difference between the two amounts that is these two amounts is equal to $40,000 minus $30,000 which is equal to $10,000. Therefore, the person earns $10,000 more in the year 2009 then in the year 2008. Now in the fourth part we have to find the range of the data. Now we know that the range of the data is the difference between the highest and the lowest value. Now we have to find the range of this given data and it will be the difference between the highest and lowest average income. Now in the first and second part of the given question we have found the years in which average income was highest and lowest that is in the year 2005 the average income was highest and in the year 2008 the average income was lowest. Now from the graph we can see that in the year 2005 the average income of a person is $70,000 and in the year 2008 the average income of a person is $30,000. Therefore we have the highest average income is equal to $70,000 and the lowest average income is equal to $30,000. So the range of the given data is equal to the highest value minus the lowest value that is the highest average income minus the lowest average income which is equal to 
seventy thousand dollars minus thirty thousand dollars, which is equal to forty thousand dollars. So the range is equal to forty thousand dollars. So this is the solution of the given question, and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.